so in today's video we will learn the use of message box with yes and no option as you can see here so i have an example here wherein you can see name university and college name and graduation stream so i am going to create a mechanism here uh let's suppose some hiring is going on in a company and the minimum criteria to hire an individual is he or she should be a graduate if the person is graduate then i want one button to be here once the user clicks on this button one message box will pop up it will say are you a graduate if person clicks on yes then further access will be given or if he clicks on no then one more message box will pop out and it will say sorry you are not eligible so guys let's create this mechanism so for this i am going to developer tab and i am taking one command button from here and i will change the name of this command button to hiring double click i am inside so first of all as per my requirement i will need to declare some of the variables in order to create this mechanism so i'm saying dim emp name as string since this is going to be a text this is also a text and this is also a text value so all these are text value so i will declare my all my variables as string so i'm saying un name university name ucn let's make it ucn name as string and dim gs as string gradu graduation stream i have taken the initials i am taking one more command button means i am declaring one more variable which is uh, let's say x as this is also string now guys first of all i will say x equals to msg box i will start my parenthesis so first of all the syntax has started so first of all it's asking the prompt what prompt you want uh, to be shown in your message box so i'm saying prompt will be are you a graduate then bb yes and no i have this option available here okay now i will create one if statement which will say if x equals to bb yes then what should happen so in this case i want the values to be stored in an input box which is this input box and again it's say it's asking for a prompt means the question so question is enter your name then title title should be uh let's say it's hiring and default default means please enter here then i will take this one enter your um uh, college or university name and then lastly 
जी एस एंटर योर ग्रेजुएशन स्ट्रीम देन आई वॉन्ट दिस डेटा टू बी फील्ड इन इन माई एक्सेल सो आई एम सेंग आई एम टेकिंग वन मोर डिफॉल्ट वेरिएबल विच इज नेक्स्ट रो सो आई एम सेंग नेक्स्ट रो विल बी शीट्स एक्चुअली द नेम ऑफ द शीट इज डेटा डेटा डॉट रेंज ए ए प्लस वन and here i'm going to use one worksheet function that is count a and within this i will add this one so it will give me a next row every time guys so i am saying sheets data cells next row comma 1 dot value should be this one the employee name so emp name i will copy this and paste in here i will make it 2 and this will become ucn and then the third column will be means this c the value which will be stored on column c that is this the graduation stream okay guys now i can close my if statement so i will say and if now i am taking the other condition the other condition is if person clicks on vb no then what should happen so i am saying one more message box will pop out and it will say sorry you are not eligible that's it guys and close your if statement also now let me click here so as you can see one message box has appeared and it's asking are you a graduate so let's say i am not a graduate and i am clicking on no so you can see it's saying sorry you are not eligible okay if i will click on yes let's say i am a graduate so if i am clicking on yes the other access has been given now i can enter my name enter your name so i am saying my name is navin my college and university name so it was delhi university and graduation stream was bcom now if i click on okay okay all right i have not actually i have done one mistake here so it is ucn name ucn name is all okay so this is next to comma 2 so why i have not got this value available it means here so is it something no so let's check one more time guys i don't know what has happened here so everything looks okay but i don't know why this data did not come here so i have got abhijit and ba but i am not getting the university and college name you see name 
actually can you see here guys actually i have done one mistake here actually the variable is uc name uc name but i have added one more n here that is why i am not getting my data correctly so this time we should get our data so let's say it is so as you can see at this point in time we have got the data there was a very small mistake actually we had not pasted our variable in the original uh, you know form we, we did not take it as correctly that is why we were not getting so this is the entire mechanism guys using such kind of mechanism you can create any kind of means you can deal with any situation wherein you want two options like yes and no so in case the user is clicking on yes then some code and if user is clicking on no then the the uh, you know other option so this is all about today's video guys